Good morning, everyone. Welcome as we begin our week. I just want to have a few comments on the top of the week about what a great, uh, I would consider, performance by our varsity programs this past week, uh, both boys and girls, especially the girls on Thursday, had a great win over Somers. Uh, boys football had a tremendous game uh, this past Friday against St. Joseph by the Sea. And uh, I look at this performance and how well we do, and it's quite a credit to our school. Uh, the spirit, the team spirit, the athleticism, the discipline and focus. It's a credit to our coaching staff and our athletes. Uh, what a tremendous, uh, what I would say, compliment to us. Uh, we're one of the smallest schools in the league and we have probably the most city championships. So again, to all of our varsity programs, especially those uh, who'll be headed into playoffs, I think girls varsity soccer tonight against St. Joseph Hill uh, will be playing. Good luck to you and never lose heart and always stay focused. And remember what a great program and school you represent. I also want to thank all of the students who have come out uh, to the Grotto for our Rosary for Life every Wednesday. Uh, it's truly something that is a real tribute to the spiritual core of our school, that we come out and pray. Prayer can accomplish so many things, personally in our own life, but also in our world. And what a greater thing to pray for than that all life will be respected in our society from conception until natural death. That's our goal. That's our prayer. That's what we hope in our pro-life culture in our school. So we're having a great fall season. We're off to great things as we roll into uh, this particular uh, end of October and starting into November. Uh, again, congratulations to all our teams and good luck in the playoffs. God bless you and have a great week. Good morning. Today is Monday, October 22nd, F Day. I'm Markella Neofatidis. And I'm Cameron Crane. And this is Kennedy Live. Now for some school announcements. If any clubs would like to talk about their clubs on Kennedy Live, please email kennedylive at kc.org. Play audition signups are in the office. Please select a time slot. Now down to the chapel for our reflections. Hi, a blessed morning to everyone. I'm Olivia Sherry. I'm here to share with you my reflection on the gospel today. In the gospel of St. Luke, Jesus tells us about a person who had an abundant harvest and accumulated wealth all his life and said to himself, now I got everything, all I need to do is rest, eat and drink and be merry. My thoughts on this are, Jesus is asking us today, what are we preparing for for our life? To us students, are we doing what we are supposed to do? Am I valuing the time God gave me to learn in the school? Let us thank God for the gift of life he gave us. And let us give thanks to him by being grateful to our parents. God bless you. In world news, one of Taiwan's fastest passenger trains derailed Saturday on a curb along a popular weekend route, killing at least 18 people and injuring more than 170 others, authorities said. There was no immediate word or the cause of the accident. And now over to sports with Gibby. Good morning, Kennedy Catholic Sports Nation. I'm Gibby with your sports. Girls Varsity Soccer has a home playoff game today versus Hill, 6 o'clock start on the turf. Women's Tennis, congrats to the team on a great season. Varsity Volleyball, the next game is Thursday the 25th against St. Vincent. This game will mark the start of the playoffs for the girls. Boys Varsity Football beat St. Joe's last Friday 37-34 to in overtime. Brendan Lebich hit the game-winning field goal. Also, go vote for Miles Proctor for Low Hud Player of the Week. That's all for sports. Now back over to the Anchors. Well, I'm Cameron Crane. And I'm Markella Neofatidis. And this has been Kennedy Live. Have, Have a, a great, great day. day.